Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged leather. So yesterday I did a video about chrome tan and veg tan leather. And I said, when you're doing leather projects, only use vegetable tan leather. In fact, all of these wallets I make, all vegetable tan leather. This is very expensive vegetable tan leather I get from buckle guy and uh, it's maybe not quite that clear in fact I had a comment I'm gonna go over it on the computer here in a minute that maybe hey question this you know I and I'm totally for that I'm I'm really for questioning anything we think is true now sorry for the nasal I just did a nasal rinse and uh, a little bit nasally right now but uh, I think that's appropriate for this conversation so it's possible that chrome tan leather is perfectly fine and the gases that it gives off are no better or worse and might even be good for you. I, I'm serious, but it's probably not. But at least it's something to think about and I'm not gonna say that you should not do it. I'm gonna continue to use veg tan leather, but that's my preference. I just, you know, hey, I'm a little bit of a snob. I want a higher price point uh, item that is gonna last forever. But that is not to say that chrome tan leather doesn't have its place and I'm gonna look more into it. But we're gonna go over, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different resources that I've been going through because hey, I want to question everything and I want you to leave a comment and point out anything that I don't see. I mean, the whole point of this channel is to teach everybody what's the best and how to do things and uh, yeah, like it, subscribe and all that stuff. And we'll just continue to dive into it over the years, over time, things will change. Now, I, I also wanted to point out that I use craft foam to make my leather projects before I do them in leather. They're just too expensive to be practicing this kind of thing on a $50 piece of leather. So, and literally when you make it, I glue it together and it works sometimes better than the real thing. And you see what size the holes are gonna be, you see that they all match up. Now, is this stuff safe to be cutting on a laser? You know, I know the smell's not good. I do have good fume extraction, but uh, you know, maybe it's not. And of course, I have these patterns from the last video uh, on Etsy, it's like two bucks. Great for getting started uh, on doing le leather and lasers so you could just get it done. I also have videos on everything when it comes to, you know, making leather wallets step by step. You could do it yourself. You don't need a pattern, but it's always a good place to start and then you can modify, you know, where you want to. This is the current version. It's gonna be a zip wallet. Uh, I'm gonna put a zipper across the top and a little pocket here. Uh, I just wanted something that was also going to be more feminine. So that'll probably be the next video teaching everybody how to make this. So then in your repertoire, say you're selling at a craft market, you'll have, uh, you know, kind of a masculine, a male and a female wallet. You could do different colors. You know, I found this, this color to be just absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to work with it. But, you know, I, I, like I said last uh, episode, I got this from Michaels. It said natural leather, but it's probably chrome tan and I was not cutting it with the la uh, laser because I didn't want to take a chance. So I was just using this for straps and cutting it manually. Will I try to do that now? You know, I think, mo well, actually, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you a few resources. I'm gonna leave them in the description and you can go over them yourself. I highly recommend you do. And go past what I'm saying, learn more because the more you understand about how all this process works, the, you know, the better you're gonna make your finished products and uh, you might save yourself a lot of money along the way. So uh, yeah, let's run over there and I'll show you some stuff. Okay, so here's my video that I just did on leather and diode lasers. And down here we'll have a comment by Jeff Allen here. It says, I've seen so many different views on whether or not to use laser on chrome tan leather, but no one ha ever has evidence to back up the claim 
to not use lasers on those leathers. Well, actually, there's tons of uh, evidence or, you know, I mean, what is evidence these days in the last few years we found? Evidence doesn't mean what it always means. Uh, but it does actually, we know, you know, from like India and different places that uh, tanneries that were using this stuff, it was causing health problems. Was it from the chromium even? I mean, that's the way science is. You know, sometimes we think it's one thing and then 50 years later we find, oh, it was this other chemical, but likely it was the cause. They were having, you know, cancer issues and different things. So that is, for the most part, changed. And most of the civilized world never do, doesn't use that process anymore. It's kind of like gold, right? We, in some parts of the world, they're still using toxic uh, chemicals to extract the gold. And it, it, it's becoming less and less, but in the poor areas, hey, they do what they got to do. So the bottom line is you got to make sure where your chrome tan leather is coming from. I mean, that's the at least that. Right. So if you're in the UK or the US or something, there are some things in place. And especially if you're getting leather that's from those areas. Now, I buy my leather pretty exclusively from Italy. And of course, that's part of the EU, which is going to have, you know, those protections in place. So I would feel a little better about that. But, you know, you're always taking a gamble. It's kind of like organic food, right? But here's a guy, and it's in uh, this this uh, this guy's referenced actually in this article. Should chrome tan leather be avoided when laser cutting? Now I'm going to leave this in the description along with the rest of these videos I'm showing you, and it goes into some detail about the question. A lot of the questions that I had, so I would definitely look at this first. Uh, this guy is a chemical engineer at the University of Cape Town, so you know his name is Bruce. And he goes through and his explanation of why he feels it's okay. And in this article, it even shows you that it's possible when you burn it, it might actually cause a type of chromium that we actually need in our bodies. I, I find that pretty interesting. I'm not going to be burning this uh, chrome tan leather so that I can, uh, you know, get a vitamin or something. But it is something to think about. So that is a very interesting article. Uh, here's another person who actually visited tanneries around and has made his own leather stuff and, uh, you know, giving you his thoughts. I think obviously part of the leather industry's side here, I'm feeling. Here on Tanner Leatherstein, this guy actually does his own tanning, in which is done both and a mixture of the two. So I found this very interesting videos. These videos won't only teach you whether you should use chrome tan or veg tan. But they'll also like give you a lot more background into the tanning process and what's being done. It's kind of cool. And finally, you know, I, I thought this was pretty good too. Never buy leather before watching this video. Uh, you know, he get, goes through all the different kinds, the pluses and minuses. So I just wanted to make this video really quick to, uh, you know, since I feel like I may have made a mistake in my last video and I wanted to explain that. I also put it as my pinned comment here in my other video so that you can uh, make a good choice for yourself. I am just all about lasers and making stuff and anything I can do to help, you know, with any sort of dogma or anything, I want to be whatever the real information is. That's what I'm going for. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of that. And also, let me know what you think about this, uh, you know, craft foam. Am I killing myself by cutting this stuff? I mean, I have good fume extraction, but you know what? I don't care. No fume extraction is perfect. Let's uh, talk about it, and I will see you in the next one. All right, love y'all.